Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Abu Under Cabinet LED Puck Lights. I ordered the 8-pack light kit, so I received 8 LED puck lights, 3 extension cables, a set of mounting screws and wire nuts, 16 total double-sided round stickers, a remote control, RF controller unit, 4-in-1 power splitter, 6.5-foot AC cord for plug-in installation, 6.5 foot direct wire cord, power adapter with inline power switch, and a couple of instruction manuals. These LED lights have brushed aluminum housings and a diameter of 2 and a quarter inches. They have a slim profile of only a quarter inch thickness. On the back, you'll notice three holes, with the two outer ones for screw mounting to the bottom of your cabinets. If mounting the lights with the screws and not the stickers, you'll need to unscrew the cap on each light housing and remove the acrylic diffuser plate. Inside are nine individual LEDs. You'll need to decide whether you want to use the adhesive pads to mount these lights or permanently attach them to your cabinets with screws. The cable on each light measures 18 inches long and has two connectors. The male one is for power and the female is a jumper so you can connect the lights in series. You can attach up to four pairs of lights to the power splitter but you can link them however you like, depending on your needs. You'll only need to run one power connector to the splitter from any group of lights connected in series. Then connect the power splitter to the RF controller, which is then connected to the barrel plug attached to the power adapter. This switch controls the main power to all the lights. Now, choose either the AC power plug if you'll be plugging the adapter into a wall socket, or the direct wire cable if you'll be connecting the wires directly to a power line or a wall switch. Remember to remove the plastic battery saver tab from the remote control before first use. The remote buttons are power, light mode, brightness up and down, brightness quick select for 150 and 25% brightness, flashing pattern selection keys, and flashing speed keys, which I'll demonstrate for you later. If performing a direct wire connection, you'll need to strip out about 3 quarters of an inch of the ends of the two leads from the direct wire cable. Then connect the black wire to the live or hot wire in your wall. And the white wire to the neutral wire in your wall. Here are the cabinets where I'll be installing the lights. With the 18 inch cords running in both directions, we can reach where we need to place them without leaving a ton of excess wire hanging. Note that this kit does not include any cable management clips, so you'll need to tape the wires up or buy them separately. I've mounted the main power switch along the back towards the corner of the cabinets. Here are the lights after installation. These are the warm white lights, and these four lights are more than enough to illuminate my counter space. And now let's see them with the main kitchen lights off. With the remote control, I can set them to 50% brightness and 25% brightness. The dimmer function actually has about 10 levels, with this one being the lowest setting. At any brightness, you can activate the flashing modes by pressing either of the mode keys to cycle forward or back through the various patterns. For each pattern, you can adjust the speed of the flashing from fast to slow in 10 increments. I found the remote to be very responsive, and it doesn't need to point directly at the receiver, nor does it need a direct line of sight to the controller. It even works through walls. Overall, this LED under cabinet puck lighting kit was pretty simple to install and works beautifully. It has bright and dimmable lights that are inconspicuous, enough cable and flexible wiring arrangement to suit most cabinets, and an easy to use remote control for changing the brightness and settings quickly.
I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.